to understand the role that river running fish species play in the economy of Down East Maine, we asked the question, what would Down East Maine be like if there were no river fisheries? Now this would totally eliminate all smelt fishing, all LY fishing, all eel fishing, every type of fishing there is. And that would probably include the stripers coming in and the bluefish. Our summer tourist attraction down here in Narraguegas. Yeah, I don't know. It would be a big impact on the lobster industry, for sure. And plus, you know, it's a big part of my income for the year. And for the town, you know, they get a percentage, and it's a pretty substantial thing for them. I think they put it towards the school budget or whatever. And then, you know, the fishermen around, a lot of them, there's not a lot of bait around this time of year, so it's great for them. You know, and then the money I spend building the weir goes to, like, the local hardware, I buy stuff there, and, you know, it's a big lot, I think. I'm a very poor individual, not anymore because of overfishing. A fishery that brought $38 million into the state of Maine, when there's no jobs. When I, li I live in an area that is, is one of the poorest places in all of Washington County, Maine. It would uh, it'd be different, you know. Um, it, it would have a, 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 an adverse impact on the economy. And it would just put pressures on other fisheries, you know, because these guys that are that are fishing in the rivers right now are going to have to be fighting after the same lobster or the same clam, you know. Um, none of the fisheries are doing unbelievably great. And, uh, you know, there's only so many dollars to be passed around, and we really need those dollars coming from the rivers. The yeah, fishing out in the ocean, your bottom fish would be your halibut fishing would suffer. I think it already has. Mm -hmm. I think they noticed a definite decline in the ground fish when they closed that St. Croix River off. I think the lobster fishermen would be pretty upset. They, they really rely on us to uh, get their bait. The herring is hard to get right now. Mm -hmm. They're all on a quota. <clears throat> we'll get some up. I think, the, yeah, they, it would be a big impact on the lobster fishermen for sure. Mm -hmm. And plus my livelihood mm -hmm. and all the other habits. Mm -hmm. um, it generates a lot of money. I think the, I think you see what's happening, and, and that's that um, the lobstermen are buying their fish from New Zealand, Australia, and California. Mm -hmm. And you don't know if there's any viruses or things that may come as a result of those bait fish coming into our area. I mean, it's a shame that um, uh, you know, Al Wives makes uh, excellent lobster bait. When I opened up my business, I started with lobsters, scallops, shrimp, and elders. I picked those four categories to get me a year-round income. Now, if you take the eels away from me now, hell, this place is going to be shut down. Now, we can't make a living, a year-round living, by shutting these rivers down.